What exactly is software engineering? You've probably heard that it's essentially just people who write code professionally. And this is true, sort of, but there's actually a lot more to it. In fact, many software engineers could go an entire day, if not multiple days at a time, without writing any code at all. So what exactly do software engineers actually do? Well, at the junior or entry level, most software engineers are spending most of their day just writing code. So it's implementing features for applications, websites, etc. And this could be front-end code or back-end code. So front-end code meaning the things that users actually see, so the user interface, and backing code being pretty much everything else, but usually a lot of business logic. But as you get promoted to mid-level, senior, and eventually staff, and even higher positions, you end up actually writing less and less code, which feels counterintuitive. You should be a better software engineer, so you should write more code, but oftentimes that's not actually the case. And the reason for this is that software engineers have a lot of other things that they need to do. So some of it is sort of code adjacent. For example, any code that gets shipped to production, meaning any code that we actually end up using, needs to be a approved by another software engineer. So a lot of engineers, especially more senior ones, spend a lot of time doing code review, meaning reviewing code that other developers wrote. Additionally, software engineers don't just work in isolation. We work with designers and project managers and all of these different cross-functional roles who have different roles in building the end application. And oftentimes these roles have different ideas of what exactly we want to build, right? The designers and project managers might have some idea in their head of sort of the perfect application we could build, and then the engineers are going to come in and say, nope, this is going to take too much time or money, we can't build that, and then there's a lot of time spent sort of compromising and figuring out what the best path forward is going to be. And once a high-level idea is in place, engineers spend more time in meetings discussing things like the high-level architecture and system design and how exactly we're going to go about implementing this application. When you're learning how to code, it feels like the hard part, right? It feels like the hard thing to do. But as you get more and more experienced, you start to learn that coding is just the process of writing down the solution that you already came up with. And the harder part is coming up with that solution. And that's what these high-level software engineers spend a lot of their time actually doing. And once you finally release this amazing application you're building, inevitably things are going to go wrong. And software engineers have to spend a lot of time on this as well. So this is going to be maintenance, making sure that everything stays up and running, as well as just finding bugs and solving them. So users are going to report some bugs and software engineers are oftentimes going to be responsible for going and digging through the code base or whatever it might be and figuring out what exactly is causing this bug and trying to find a fix for it. But even that's not all the things that software engineers are going to be doing. They're also going to be spending time writing documentation. So this is ways to make sure that other software engineers who come along in the future understand how to work in this code base and understand why the things are done the way that they are done. And thinking of other software engineers coming along, this happens a lot both in terms of new software engineers joining the team as well as people like interns. And a lot of software engineers are going to spend a lot of time essentially doing mentorship and helping guide these newer developers through the code base and just through the overall working environment. 